at Eagle Country 106.3. What we have is our special guest, Danny Wooten. Ring the bell for Danny. How in the heck are you, man? Good morning, Chuck. How you doing? You know, it's been a long time. It's been a couple years. Yeah. I was telling you a story off the air, but I'm going to tell it now. Got a phone call two weeks ago. You play some Danny Wooten. I go, Danny Wooten? That's how do you know about Danny Wooten? <laughs> so I was just surfing around on the internet, and I saw you were interviewing him on your radio station. Was it 2010? It, 2011? 2000, 2010, or it yeah. had to be early 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and shortly after that, you performed at our county fair yeah, so that was kind of cool yeah. and uh the rest as they say in the history book at that time came out with an album called southern slang yep. and uh and i played that for him then you called me last week and he said hey this is danny wooten i said man must be a full <laughs> moon so he says play a song off the album and i and one of the ones i'm partial to is daddy's little girl right and uh, you said yeah, that's your mom's or my dad's? mom's absolute favorite yeah. daddy's little girl yeah okay and and we did and and always good response we're up to something that we've been talking about seems like forever georgia rain feels like it but it's finally done georgia it's rain finally is, happened yeah. of course we've got some georgia rain going on outside right now <laughs> it's all through georgia florida you name it you got some uh, people you brought along absolutely i brought uh these are the the backbone of the band right here this is uh gt lamira our guitar player and our GT. drummer Brian Wass. Brian, hey. how you doing? GT. How are you? Good. So uh, we were talking about writing material and stuff, and these guys, both of them, were part of your original uh, band from, from yeah. the beginning. They are the band. And they're on that Southern Slang. They series. are Southern Slang. <laughs> oh, they, they <laughs> are <laughs> Southern Slang. We're Southern Slang. And, and it just so happens the, the song was Southern Slang. Yep, that's how we got the name of the album. I'm going to see that, self-titled and all that <laughs> self-titled stuff. Self-titled and all that good stuff. So how did you guys all get together? Because you're originally from Michigan. And then um, you come to Alachua. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of great musicians in Gainesville. And I was in the studio one day, and this uh, this fellow recommended me to talk to the, um, now my drummer, Daz. And uh, he's like, come out to my studio. You know, I've, I know a guitar player that might be interested in, you know, writing some music. And, and then it just took off from there. We've been together since... Uh, 2006. Wow. Yeah, for a long time. You'll be having a big anniversary before oh, too long. Yeah, we've been together for a while, so yeah. it's like we can kind of read each other's moves now, so. Yeah, and then you think you'll keep them, right? Oh, these guys are, they're, they're stuck with me. Ah. <laughs> Brian, uh, uh, tell us the real deal on this guy. Is he, is he for real or what? Oh, he's, he's the real deal, okay. generally himself. Yeah, when I met him, I was doing studio work, and uh, he had all these songs, so I was like, let's work on uh, working the drum tracks, and... Uh, I brought him over to my sound stage and started working for about two or three weeks before he recorded. So it was a good idea to pre-produce, and that's what we did. Wow! And I will say he is one of the best drummers in the business. He's actually uh, he's the one I was telling you about that played in the Alice Cooper video. Okay. I got a line on you. That's right. In the hair days. We talked about that at the fair. Yeah. Better and then uh, this guitar player was weaned uh, off of uh, Charlie Hargret. So you guys were all sitting in, in with us on that when we yeah. did the uh, yeah. interview. See that? Yeah, <laughs> That's right. They were there. Coming yeah. together. Got pictures. Of I that think there's still pictures on the yeah. WAG website. And possible. From the, the yeah. possible. Speaking of website, now you're, this interview, plus the music, uh, we're going to be going up on 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 it'll the It'll be on YouTube web. tonight, and yeah. uh, it'll be on fa Facebook tonight. We'll have everything uploaded. So my goodness so gracious! Check it out, Southern Slang Country or Danny Wooten on uh, Facebook. All right, let's talk about this uh, song that's taken. It seems like forever, Georgia Rain. Uh, how did it first come about? I know it seems like ancient history, but now to bring us up to today. Um, that that idea was always there. We were, we we actually wrote this song and recorded it. Um, what two years ago? Two years ago. Two yeah, years. Two years ago. Because I remember I had like a, a demo pressing right. of some sort. Right. I got to hear it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great song. I mean, that's 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 one of my uh, if you want to call it a masterpiece. That's one of the best songs I think I ever wrote. Yeah. Or, but this album, this album, we titled it Georgia Rain. Mm -hmm. um, all the songs off this one are really great. I think we up the amperage out a little bit. It's yeah. a little more. It's more powerful than last album. It's got that. It's got that southern rock feel to it. And yeah. I got these two guys right here to thank for that. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play something with a little uh, kick to it in a bit. But I think since we've been talking about Georgia Rain, this is a powerful piece of music. If you haven't heard it, uh, you're in for treated. If you have, you know it. It is good. Georgia Rain. It's it's Danny Wooten and Southern Slang on Eagle Country. Mm. Fade away. 
Country 106.3 WEAG. Well, what do you know? That's uh, Danny Wooten and company. Company being Southern slang. And that song, Georgia Rain, that is really good. Oh, thank you. I That's love it. I love it. So you've got various cuts on here. Just briefly, let's just run through some of the titles, and then we're going to play another one. Uh, we mentioned uh, more of an upbeat. Let's talk about Country Boy. What's that all about? That was the one where I think we had that written, and it uh, wasn't yet recorded. I think we opened up with that when we played it, Bradford County Fair. Did you? That was a, that's a really, really choice cut. It's real... Yeah, it's a good old boy sound on that one. It goes back to kind of like that Waylon '70s sound. Okay, yeah. but it's, it's quick. Well, kind of an outlaw thing. Though. Now we got the outlaw thing going on that one. Perfect day. Perfect day. That one, uh, that one I wrote and I started revamping it, and uh, that one is pretty much about my girlfriend. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> what's your girlfriend's name? Rochelle. And where does she come from? Uh, she hails from Michigan. Yeah, where is she doing now? Is she in Michigan right now? No, mm -hmm. she is right here in the studio. She's in the radio studio. <laughs> smiling, smiling, looking pretty. Do we believe that? Just say hello. Just say so they know that there's a real person. Hello. There you go. <laughs> I'll bet she had lives around the house, though, doesn't she? Oh, she's, she's, she's the boss of the house, I'll I, tell you that. I heard that. <laughs> All right. Jellico? Jellico. That, that song I wrote about you just going through Tennessee, going up to Michigan so many times, and there's a little town I always went through, and... Every time That's I feel the name it. of the town? Jellico. Yeah, Jellico. It's right at the Jellico Mountains, right when you come out of Tennessee in the, in the Kentucky. Yeah. But uh, it's a good song. It's a little love story. It's a ballad. Yeah. Giddy on down. Yeah. That's a good one. That one you got to use your imagination on. And we will. This 
title sounds familiar. I think I played this. Downloadable, Downloadable divorce. 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 Did you not give me a promo you, copy of that? You have a promo copy Downloadable of that one. Downloadable Divorce. That one got mixed, you know, mastered and mastered mm -hmm. now, so it's all it's all yeah. pretty and sounds good on it. Downloadable Divorce, boy, I'll tell you, you don't need any of that. <laughs> no. Trevor just got married five minutes ago. He's still, you know how you can tell he's still newly married? He keeps turning the ring, you know. It's got to polish it off. Well, it's still new. It's not it's, quite used to the feeling. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. That's what it is. Either that or when he goes into the bars, he takes it off and puts it in the pocket. But we, no, nah, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> Download them with the boards. We're going to start something now. Yeah. Uh, again, using technology of today, Facebook, what's that all about? <laughs> Facebook, um, I'll just I'll just tell everybody if you if you go out Thursday uh, Thursday the album comes out Thursday nationally it's digital okay. you can get it at Amazon iTunes Rhapsody CD Baby um, that song if you listen to it it's it's about a guy that uh, he's telling his he's telling his wife girlfriend whatever if you leave me I'm gonna pay you back yeah. so you find out you find out in the end of the song that he takes all of her. Um, risque photos and puts them up on Facebook for the oh, whole world to see. <laughs> <laughs> Foils and trials yeah. and tribulations. <laughs> but it's a funny song. And uh, the eighth cut on this is 911. 911 was the last song in this album that we recorded. Yeah. And we actually written. We we went we went into the sound sound stage one night and we were sitting sitting there and just started going through the music on and had the words pretty much done that night. But it's about uh, it's basically about like uh, deliverance. Oh. <laughs> it's about a guy that meets a girl up in that same town. Talk about an emergency. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, and all it right. came together really quick. It was like we started, Danny came up with a riff and we started jamming on it. And it just, you know, one of those things where all the parts just come together, fall into place. And yep. we had it like done in an hour. And then yeah. I was just going to say some theory. songs come a little faster yeah. than others. That one did. Yeah. That one did. Yeah. Well, we got our timekeeper over here, uh, Brian. He just, he says, okay, hold on. We can do it like this. And yeah. we'll go through it and do it like this. And until, usually at the end, he's like, we're going to do these stops. And, He's the one that really, I credit for the arrangement, but, but our guitar player, he's got all the tastiest licks on this. Man, I'm telling you, the guitar yeah. playing on this is insane. Well, we're speaking with Danny Wooten and Southern Slang. We're about ready to play the first cut on the album. It's uh, Giddy On Down. Set this up for me. Giddy On Down, right here on Eagle Country 106.3. <laughs>
good. It's good. <laughs> can you dance to it? Yes, you can do a pretty cool line dance to it. I know, that's a good song everybody says. When I've said the people I've, I've tested, I've beta tested that was that's a line dance song. You're beta tested. <laughs> Tell <laughs> Dinah tested. So, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, uh, you, you do gig. Um, yep. Not so much the clubs anymore, but bigger venues. You actually, uh, yeah. you work with Kip Moore. Kip Moore last year, yeah, we played yeah. with Kip Moore out in Jacksonville. Did a show with him. That's great, amazing guy. That's when he was uh, something about a truck was just it was something number about it was truck. number sixteen at the time, and we we, we were walking. We went to the, the arena over there, and we went on and had lunch together. And he was like, I don't know this song. It's just it's scaring me because it's not getting the number one. I was like, Don't worry about it. Mm. It's it'll go number one. And we were we we're making jokes because he had a little bitty. Uh, it did make remember it. the bus. Yeah. He had a little bus in <laughs> He had a tiny yeah. little bus. Yeah, you gotta start. As soon as something about a truck hit number one, I saw him on uh, Fox News. Yeah, right away. And and here is his big tour, grand tour bus out there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he, you know, he did all right with it. He's a great sure, guy too. Sure. Kip Moore is a wonderful uh, artist to work with. My daughter, who's getting married on Thursday night, Thanksgiving night, if you can believe that, uh, she's using one of his songs. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, Kip Moore. <laughs> And and before he had something about a truck, he actually had a song. I don't know if he sang it on on the uh, in Jacksonville called "Mary is the Marion Kind." Yes, you know he that did. song. Yep. yep. No, I like that. See, song. now a lot of people don't know that song. Yep. But I I jumped on it. My wife is Mary, so I used to play it like all the time. <laughs> Mary, I'm gonna play it. Mary's the Marion Kind. They should, now that he's famous, they should re-release that song. It'll be a hit. They should. He he sounded great in concert playing that too. Yeah. We were on the side of so stage. So he does do it. He does do it. He he did it. He, he did it. he put it right in the set. Yeah, like Mary, Mary, <laughs> Mary's the Mary in kind. More about you, Danny Wooten, and more about Southern Slang. How can we find out more about you guys? And also, how do we get the CD, which officially drops, gently drops on Thanksgiving Day Thursday? Yes, sir. It uh, it it's nationally released. Um, digitally, you can get it. Amazon, <clears throat> iTunes. Rhapsody, CD Baby, anywhere you can buy music online, it's coming it's out. Free. And then a couple months later, I think we're going to have hard copies out that'll Good. be ready for release. You know, you can get the hard copy. But nowadays, most people are into the digital, like you said, the 2013 thing. They just yeah. they want to put everything in their phones and their iPads. Are you going to send me an old fashioned CD? I'm going to I'm going to hand deliver you one. Okay. When does the, <laughs> when does the vinyl come out? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should do that. You know what? Before I forget, I do want some rockers do that every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to give a couple thanks out to some guys that also played on this album because. I, I, you know, you got to mention these guys. Brandon Boothby played banjo on this. Amazing banjo player. Now, was he on one of the original? He's on, uh, he, he plays tracks on 911 on there, and he also plays it on Country Boy. Okay. Was he part of the 2010? Uh, no, no. He's a newcomer. New guy. And uh, Aaron Culverson played the fiddle, and he was on the original okay. album. Cool. And uh, John Alexander, he's the uh, steel player, and he's just amazing. He comes out every time, and he plays our shows with us and records with us. Who does all the, and this is uh, like the unsung heroes, the mixing, the, the the one with that critical ear. Is there somebody out there that's like, okay, what, you? What? Yeah, that's me. You're smiling. <laughs> that's me. No, do you, Danny? Yeah, it's the I'm, whole band. It's the band effort. Yeah, we all so do. So if you don't like something that's too heavy or that's you know well it's a group decision this time yeah. you know it's like last time you know it's like i did a lot of the saying on it and this time i these guys have made all all i mean major decisions with this album was all done with as a band See, that wasn't a setup question. I thought you were going to name me some guy, you know, that sits there and he did her muddy waters in his early days. No, no, I thought you were going to tell me some bad. story or something, you know. Just recorded it in a little old shack in Gainesville. Yeah, T Bone, you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll sit down with various engineers and we'll go through everything. We'll go track by track. We'll figure out, you know, we usually start with the drums. Does the kick sound okay? What's the yeah. snare like? The different frequencies. And then we move on to the bass. Yeah. How does it gel? And what's panned right and left? Then we go on the guitars and then the vocals and then the overall mix. So and that's how we usually do then the mastering is a separate process and that's usually done in a separate place where we go over everything wow so this time yeah. around we had like seven or eight test mixes you know we'll, oh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll put on a cd and we'll all listen to them and and you, you, tell each other what we like about them, what we don't like about them. And you get phone calls like, like any time of the day. It's like, hey, you know that part in there? I don't like that. Let's <laughs> cut that out of there. Let's go redo it. Let's fly this 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 part in. And uh, you know, he was the, the you know uh, GT here. He 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 was really you know into this whole project to the point where it's like every time I, I showed up to the studio, he was there. Yeah. And he was like, well, I don't like this part. I'm gonna redo it. Let me do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. But he, you know, I I credit these guys, Brian and GT, because they were. Yeah. For the long haul here for this, and they made sure it was perfect, and it and and it just sounds great. So yeah. I thank these guys too. Now you refer to your guitarist GT. What, what does that stand for? It's, it stands for Guido. 
Guido. Think, Guido. So the GT is, <laughs> yeah. you know, people see my name and think, hey, Guido, yo. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and the T? The T's for my middle name. It's Toussaint. It's a French French name. Toussaint. Yeah. yeah. Guido, Toussaint, Moose, Toussaint. and Rocco pull up, look out. Hey. <laughs> and Brian. Oh, God. Well, look at him. I mean, the guy, he's like. He's he looks a, like a Brian. He looks like Rambo, <laughs> man. Well, actually, my, nick, my nickname's Daz, and so Daz. I used that back in the day in the 80s, and so it kind of still sticks. You did, you did actually call him Daz. Yeah. Right yeah. So just to clarify. Oh, okay. yeah. Everyone out there, there aren't two drummers in the band. It's yeah. one and the same. Yeah, and yeah. Daz. So it should be Brian and then Daz in quotes. Yep, that's how it. That's how it, I think that's how it's on there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll have, I'll have to wait till Thursday to find out. <laughs> won't I? But you're gonna give me. But you're gonna give me a hard copy when it comes yes, out early I will. 2014. Yes, I promise you, I will. Well, now you know where to find us. Now, of course, you always did. And we just want to say a special happy Thanksgiving to you, your family, and everybody in Stark. So happy Thanksgiving from myself and. Southern slang. Southern slang. And Southern slang. I'm going to ring the bell. Happy holidays to you guys, man. Have a blessed holiday Thank season. You. Chuck, and thanks a lot, buddy. Absolutely. And, and Rochelle. <laughs> the little quiet one over there. She's running back. She's, <laughs> She's the cute one. one so. See, now I made her say hello. <laughs> I got to make her say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, boy. She's <laughs> wonderful. I'll be back right after this.